What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Sauna's Lifestyle. Today's another day in the UK. So, guys, if you guys seen the thumbnail, you guys see that uh, I messed my tire up on my third gen. I love upset about it, but not too bad. Um, I mean, it's not the tire ain't messed up; it's the uh, tire stickers. So, um, so I was so anxious to get the car, the wheels on the car, and um, the outcome of me rushing to get these tires on here because i wanted to drive and see how i rode uh before putting the tire stickers on or not before after putting the tire stickers on uh i ended up messing up uh the passenger side tire stickers so what happened was that obviously like i told you guys i went from a 255 30 22 inch tire to a 295 25 22 inch tire so obviously that's a lot wider um so i knew that i was gonna have to roll the fenders if not shave it down uh the fenders itself like the the inner lip of the fender and guess what happened messed up the tire stickers man let me show y'all what i did damn oh hell no oh, oh, oh. tore them joints up look at that tire the decal coming off it is coming off barely hanging on so uh, what happened is that it got caught on the lip right here. So what I end up doing is uh, I end up shaving the lip. I, I just shaved the lip on it. So it clears it now. Um, but I mean, hold on real quick. My battery's about to die. Let me get my new battery real quick. A few moments later. All right, guys, back on. So uh, yeah, my battery died. So I had to put a new battery in. So uh, as you guys can see, man, that thing is badly messed up right so i'm probably gonna have to get so I, I think i can clean it off i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna try to do that first but the, the downfall of that is this one right here man as you guys can see this junk is all ate up so i know it's probably a little dark in here um but so the fix i did on it like i told you guys is i did the um uh, uh, what i did was i shaved the uh fenders itself the inner lip so it's clear now all the way around i think i don't know if you guys can see it it's kind of dark uh, but I shaved it. Now you can't probably see it. So anyways, I shaved it. And uh, like I said, I was so impatient that I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just put them on, drive it, see what it does. But because I put the tire stickers on, the tire stickers is what got ate up. The tire itself is not ate up at all. It's just the tire stickers was barely touching the inner lip. Um, so with that, I mean, they're all messed up now. Um, but what I ended up doing, um, I didn't do a quick video. I didn't do a video on it, but I definitely want to show you guys what I did. So I got some air shocks on the third gen. I did this, I did some research on the, uh, how to install them. And, uh, one guy had a video on there with a convertible, uh, and he took all kinds of stuff apart. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what I did, uh, what parts that you need to take off. Uh, that's kind of why I want to bring you guys on here as well as to show you that my mistake I made with the, uh, with the uh, uh tire sticker itself i want to show you guys those that have the third gen uh camaro how to swap out the shocks it's pretty simple all right so all you're going to do is you're going to pop the uh, convertible top i'm going to show you this real quick where the top bolt is uh for hold on give me a second let me set you guys down hold on actually let me set this down real quick i ain't gonna pause the video i'm just gonna set you guys down real quick while i open this up so you open up the top the back part of the top Oh, actually, look at that. Seatbelts are connected. Let me undo the seatbelts real quick. Otherwise, I won't be able to lift this up. All right, yeah, so uh, you open up the top cover. Uh, all right, let me bring you guys right here real quick. All right, so what I end up doing is uh, you pull the seat down. All right, then obviously you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have this right here, your carpet. So what you want to do is let me put this camera down, man. Sorry guys, I'm trying to hold up the, the back glass and do this all at one time. So I'll set this camera right here, that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. 
All right, so as you see, there's carpet here. This carpet lifts up right here. And I'll just pull it, I'll just pull this corner up. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Oh, this one, my back, I'm doing all this extra stuff. So as you guys can see, if you lift this carpet up right here, there's a foam cover and it's covering up actually the bolt for the shock. All right, so that's the top hat of the shock. So on your third gen convertibles, this is how you get to the top hat uh, bolt. So push that back down in there real quick. Close this back. All right, slide this back down. All right, push this back. Sorry guys. All right, so that's the top hat. And then what I wanna do is, so obviously there's one bolt that's on there, it's holding it down. It's pretty pretty easy to uh, to take off. All right, so that's close. All right, and then, so you take off that one bolt, and then let me show you guys down here. Actually, let me open up the garage real quick. Get a little bit of light in here. All right, so if you guys come down here with me, there's literally, literally a that one bolt that's sitting right there. You can see it. That is the bottom, uh, I guess you would say bottom bolt that's holding the uh, shock itself on. So you take that one off and then that top one. What I did was I jacked the car up. I put a jack stand underneath the, the axle itself because I wasn't sure if the axle was gonna just drop. Um, and I didn't want that to happen, so that's what I did. So what I did was I jacked the car up, put the axle underneath, I mean the uh, jack stand underneath the axle, and then w once I did that, uh, I let the car, uh, I let the, I took the, the jack, not the jack, but the, uh, I can't even think right now, man. I took the uh, floor jack itself, and then I uh, let that down. So now the car is resting on the axle on the uh, jack stand itself. So... Once you got that there, you take that top uh, bolt off, where I just showed you guys underneath the convertible top cover, and then the bottom bolt. Literally, uh, you can take a rubber mallet, hammer it out, takes the shock out, and then what you wanna do is obviously in reverse order, put that back on, and then uh, once you get it put back on, you secure the bottom bolt, secure the top bolt, and then that's that. Uh, be it that I told you guys I put air shocks on there, I had to run air lines. So I ran one air line from one shock, to the other shock and then I have a middle joiner that feeds to where I'm gonna put the air at. And I'll show you guys where I put that at real fast. Uh, all right, so as you guys can see, there's the airline hose. I ran it from one shock to the other shock and I can't really show you guys where the joiner is uh, without getting under there. I ain't trying to get too dirty. But then what I did was I got the air valve right here in the center and then I can just put air in there raise it up and it raises the car up all right so the reason why i purchased those because of the reason of the tires being wider as you guys can see those are pretty wide for this car 295 i mean i'm sure you can go wider with tubbing it mini tubbing and all that but i didn't do none of that so um overall man i like the stance of how how it came out i like the overall look of it but i'm just kind of upset that i messed this damn tire up but uh I'll get it fixed. I'll get it fixed. I'm gonna try to clean them up, re-glue everything down uh, for now, and then maybe uh, maybe buy some new tire stickers. But overall, man, it still looks good. But you know, man, check them rides out, boy. Things look really nice, huh? It's dirty. Cleaned the Hellcat up a little bit today. Went down to Cambridge to get some, got some food. Walked around, needed to get around and get out the house for a little bit. Um, but yeah, that thing looked good, man. So I got some new bolts for it. So as you guys can see, these things are rusted, man. It's from just taking them on and off, on and off, on and off through uh, the drag radios. But man, you tell me, boy, y'all think that thing look good? Ooh, boy, that thing is fire. Look at that. Three piece 4G autos, 20. Four by ten and a half in the rear, twenty-four by nine in the front with the 275, 25 Pirelli tires in the front. 
Then I went with some cheapo tires in the back. 295, 25 Lexani tires. So the reason why I went with them tires, man, is because I know they're gonna I know I'm gonna burn them up, so it's all good. But yeah, man, uh I like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys on today, show you guys that man, my mistake. Uh, uh look who I got over there. Whoa, what y'all for? They trying to get it, they trying to get on the channel. Say what's up. Say it again. Yeah, his cars are amazing. Oh, uh, time, really time to subscribe to what channel? This channel. This channel. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, man. Like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys on, show you that mistake, man. And uh, overall, man, I, I'm a little upset. I ain't gonna lie, but it's all good. Yeah, leave it in the comments below, man. Let me know what y'all think of the third gen, though. I know I posted the video, showed you guys the walk around and uh, me installing the tire stickers and the uh, vinyl, uh, how-to vinyl on the uh, the wheels. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm just trying to think what else I got uh, coming for you guys and for the channel. Um, I definitely did order. Uh, oh, yeah, I know what I ordered. I got coming in. So the third gen does not have cup holders, right? So I was looking around on eBay, looking all over the place. And I couldn't find anything. Then I finally came across a uh, guy that, uh, he's got this machine, I guess, that can uh, cut out plastic. And uh, he made like a new, uh, he made like a uh, two cup holder for the third gen. So I ordered that, that's in route. And then, um, I don't know if you guys can be, be able to see in here, man, cause it's kind of dark in this car. The, uh, so I got a double den in here, right? Cause a lot of folks don't know, but I got a 10 inch subwoofer in here, man. And the 10 inch subwoofer is the uh, Scar Audio sub. Uh, the box is not built for the tr for the trunk of the car. So the I want to show you guys because it looks ghetto, but it sounds good. It sounds amazing. Um, but like I said, I put the double den in here. I try to make shift a little, uh, the, the, what they call it? The CD fascist or fascist or whatever the cover uh, that covers up the, uh, the hole, whatever for the uh, CD player. I end up cutting the bottom of it. I have another one, original uh, one for it. But what I did was, again, I was looking on eBay, came across the same guy, He's gonna he made the cup holders. And what's gonna happen is, this double den is now gonna go from here to up here, and the air conditioning buttons and all that stuff is gonna go below. Then the cup holders is gonna go here. So I'm gonna have two cup holders here. I don't know how it's gonna fit, but it, I mean, cause that space looks pretty small, but I'll be able to put two, two sodas here, two bottles of water right here. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the install of that once it gets in. I should have it this week. Um, it was a pretty, uh, I mean, I got it on eBay, so it should be here so, so soon. So um, I need to do that. So I'll show you guys the install, and it's pretty quick, man. It's a couple of screws, face cover, the face plate comes off. This comes off, this comes out, so I won't have an ashtray anymore, which is cool because, I mean, who needs an ashtray? I don't smoke. Um, and, but I was thinking about putting a cup holder right here. Cause I've seen a lot of cars with that, uh, a lot of third gens with that, but it's only one. Um, I might still do it just to have three because usually my kids go with me uh, places. Typically everywhere I go, they go with me. Um, but yeah, I got that coming. And yeah, that's all I got right now. I mean, I can't think of anything else, man. Uh, I've been doing so much stuff with these cars. Can't think what else to, to add to them, uh, to give to the channel. Definitely leave it in the comments below what you guys like to see. Uh, tell me what you guys are interested in seeing me do uh, on a DIY video for you guys on Sundays. Um, yeah, for the most part, though, that's all I got for you guys today, man. Like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys on, show you my mess up of that tire, because that tire is messed up. And I got to get it fixed, man, because I can't ride around like that. People be looking at me like, what the hell is wrong with that car? So I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate all the love and support. I can't thank you guys enough when it comes down to it um steady slowly climbing i feel like i'm i'm, I'm gaining traction uh, but i'm telling you guys once this covid ends i'm gonna start showing you guys this uk car scene because there is nobody out there showing you guys the uk car scene uh from a, a from a american american's view i guess you could say that so i know there's a lot of youtube channels out there uh here in the uk a lot of youtubers that uh do uh, show car content that's out here 
but a lot of you guys that are watching my channel are from the states so i want to bring that to you guys showing you guys the car scene out here in the uk so we're supposed to be coming off a of lockdown uh well on monday we're able to go a little further out so i might be getting some footage of just things that i'm going to see sightseeing you know my channel says the sauna's lifestyle i want to show you guys what we're seeing out here in the uk um and then I think the May, I think it was like sometime mid-May, we come off, not I can say we come off of like a, a lockdown is completely done, but you can be around a lot more folks, more gatherings can happen. So I think around mid-May, the car show scene should start coming back. Uh, obviously then it should be hot, it should be warmer. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys to the Santa Paula racetrack that's out there. Of course, I'm gonna run the Hellcat, the wife's gonna run the Jeep. I gotta throw the drag radios back on and show you guys some of that, that scene. Uh, show you guys what they do out here, man. Because at, at the end of the day, man, it, you know my favorite word. End of the day, right? The car scene is pretty heavy out here, and there's a lot of car, uh, a lot of a lot of folks out here that do a lot of things when it comes to cars. So, um, go ahead and smash the the thumb, the thumb button for a like if you guys don't mind. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Share the videos. Uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Turn on that post notification bell because I'm going to keep bringing you guys videos. So uh, stay tuned. I should have a video tomorrow coming up for you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but um, I'm thinking of something uh, to show you guys and bring to the channel. But other than that, man, Sauna's Lifestyle, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm out.